Yep. yep. Nair goes through Missile too. That's actually really mm -hmm. big, because I feel like Nair can be really good in this matchup. Ooh. God, that feels so bad whenever you get hit by the Meteor hitbox of, of up tilt. You just get popped up perfectly. Oh, yeah. Straight up for Samus to get a follow up on you. Like, oh, God. You're like, what, what? have I done? <laughs> what, am I, what am I about to eat right now? <laughs> it's also so scary at ledge. Man. <laughs> I love the sound effect of jab. Oh, all right. And oh, that's wow. why. That's why he, Ganon seems like a good choice, because you're actually able to kill Samus off of stray hits like at like a decently early percent. Good tech. Good tech. Oh, that was oh. not a good choice. You need to side B. Gives him the Samus returns. <laughs> the sure you can. I'm pretty sure a jab clinked with an up B and stopped the up B. Yeah. Oh, that's percent. Whoa, that's, dude, the Chevy is so sick. Like, like I expect one thing, and Chevy just like blows that out of the water. One thing I don't like about tether characters, you're like, oh, he just died. He aired stodge off stage, and then you see the tether come out, like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> or like they, air yeah. SD like me, come on. Only we kept near, so it allows Junebug to stay alive. Ooh, the sweep. Misses the sweep. <laughs> oh, Junebug. <laughs> Junebug's a maniac. <laughs> I wonder if Samus can, like, morph ball crawl underneath the side beam. Uh, aerial probably, I think. I don't think grounded. Because that's that still grabs uh, Crouching Sheik's in. Oh, okay. Snakes, I'm pretty sure. That makes sense. That's actually back. really good. I, I didn't expect that punch. I would prefer to back throw. I wonder if Ganon can do it to Samus. But I know Red Ranger, what he likes to do, uh, yeah, you have red. He'll, he'll back uh, he'll back throw his opponent instead of down throw, and then he'll Dacus. And, oh. it, and on DI in, in combos. That's I'm not sure if that works on, uh, on Samus because of her weight. I'm not right. sure if uh, back throw is weight, in the, uh, weight independent or not. That's, that sounds brutal, though. Like If, if it is waiting to... Oh! Holy! What a legend. Good little sneak stock from Junebug. He's able to take the lead. But I, I forgot you have Red Ranger in, in your region. I'm not sure how active he is, but like... He, he hasn't been active recently. Mainly it's because we also haven't had the most tournaments in SoCal as of late. Oh, right. We're hoping to pick that back up after Salty Wands. Still alive. This is pretty, it's pretty clean. Yeah. I don't like that flow. That flow gave Chevy too much time, and it made Doombug descend enough to where there wasn't a mix-up between landing on stage and grabbing the ledge. Because that's one thing that's tricky about Edge Guard and Ganon, is that the big difference between Ganon and Falcon is, Fal uh, is Ganon has a little punch on his up B. Oh, right, right, like, right. He doesn't necessarily grab his opponent, but he'll still hit him if it like hits the, like, the end of the up B. Mm-hmm. And that makes that makes it again a little hard to edge guard from on stage. Cause you're like, I'm gonna hit him, and then you get punched. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> well, like, no, I'm gonna like space around this and just like wait for your epic to end, and then I'm gonna hit you out of it. But then you're the one who gets hit instead. But then like when you float too low, there's no mix up with that. You just roll. You just roll right when Ganon gets the dude, just classic stuff. <laughs> it's classic edge guarding. Junebug's thinking. He's probably thinking stages. Like, what stages would he want to ban? If he was left with Ganon. What stages will be left open? So I don't think he likes what state with all the mm. different stages Chevy has available to him. If Gans be on a good stage, oh that's true. So that's probably why he's going uh, chic. He's probably in the big stages or PS2. I'm okay with that. Was that. Good choice. I'm gonna go to five. And I'm not sure how this matchup is in melee. I want to say Sheik wins. I want to say that too. But there are differences. One, uh, ice Samus, <laughs> one ice mode. Yeah. Ice mode. <gasps> well, he just jumped into it. And, and okay. another thing I want to say is uh, Samus' up beam. 
It's not invincible all the way through. Oh, no, only at the, like, the start. So, like, and it can get clanked with. So uh, Samus also has a jab forward smash with a little, like, pop on the explosion. Forward smash. Is jab forward smash not a thing in uh, Melee? I don't know for sure, but I know it definitely is in PM. Uh, when I was talking to Plup about it, he got okay. super hype over jab. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, dude, Samus is, like, the best character in the game. I'm like, why is that? He's like, jab forward smash. all you need. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> This is the same oh, person. So apparently you can DI out of Jeff Forward Smash in uh, Melee then. Uh, again, this is coming from the guy who said, like, you know, up throw cape isn't real. Isn't real. So, you know, but it is Pluck, the Samus guy. So, you know. To be, to be funny about that, I think Adrian interviewed Pluck. Like, because he messaged me. He's like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interview Pluck. Mm -hmm. I need you to send me the Meta Up throw cape uh, spreadsheet. I tell him that it, this, is, this is when it's true. <laughs> I'm not sure if he actually followed through with that. But I'm, I sure hope he did. Okay, uh, real quick. Ooh, uh, the low times you yep. were talking about? Okay. Yeah, you, you already know, man. Yes. So, like, <laughs> if you already played Sheik or Zelda in the game, and, like, you switch back to Zelda or Sheik, then it loads faster because the game has already loaded that character in the match before. So the load times between the um, Zelda and Sheik aren't always consistent. It's like, have you played this character before? Yes. Load faster. No? Load a little slower. Yeah, pretty much. Like, as you were saying, like, the t uh, transformation is inconsistent on time. So it's hard to punish. Because you don't know exactly when Zelda or Shigeru can come out of that transformation. So you gotta be careful when you wanna try to punish that. Ooh, I like the air dodge. And, ooh, okay. Should I be just a little too slow? You're too slow. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. There's a lot of moves in that, like, couple seconds. Yeah, but Junebug isn't looking too hot right now. Doesn't get the sweet spot, but still works. Three stocks up. Like, everything, like, June does, like, Chevy's just crash canceling and punishing June. But except for that time where uh, Junebug actually shielded the crouch cancel and punish attempt from... Oh, no. She had a Sheena stall, but... Yeah, very fortunate that Chevy decided to go for a grab instead, instead of a, like a down smash. Okay, um, I don't know. I'm catching on to something a little. So tell me if I'm tell me yeah, if I'm crazy yeah, yeah. or not. So, I've noticed Junebug will win with a character, right? And then he'll switch, and then he'll start losing, and then he'll probably switch back. Like, I mean, that two two times isn't necessarily a trend. Like uh, I, I, I agree with this switch way more than the first one. Uh, when, that's true. when he switched off of Diddy for did he go Sheik? Yeah, he went Sheik. Uh, when he's already up to oh, and he went twice with Diddy. All right, All right. In this case, in this case, I, I agree with it because Ganon's uh, viability is a lot different depending on what stages are available, and he, like Ganon can be counterpicked on stages much harder than like Sheik can. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just something I'm like, hmm, hmm, you know? But if it happens a third time, then you can start calling it You're a like, trend. All right, all right. Two times isn't necessarily a trend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is so weird. That like, really cool. Like, Junebug, like, didn't auto slant to ledge there. I was a little surprised. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, throw an air. Oh, like, Chevy was looking for the finish. That's yeah. why he went for the dance of the Nair, because Nair would have put him in, put, uh, you put him Junebug in an edge guard position. Yeah. Instead of just trying to end it outright with the dare into a tech read down smash. Ooh. Gives Chevy stage advantage. <laughs> Dude, these missiles. I don't, I don't see how June's going to come back from this, though. Cause yeah, this is, this if is you, a level. If, even if you manage to get the stock, you got to deal with so much crouch cancel. <laughs> And which you can't take any trades once the new stocks come. Against Samus, with, like, with that Nair? Like. But this should do it. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Man, Sheik's scream sounds so brutal. <laughs> it's just like, ah! <laughs> Back to Ganondorf. <laughs> and now June has the, oh. June Buck has the counter pick. All right. Well, part of the reason why we're not seeing Junebug go Diddy because Diddy does suffer from uh, comboing, like, floaties and, like, them, and can be 
very hard to actually finish the kill on them as well. Mm, and yeah. not to mention Sam is like a very so that's what some no Jupiter guys have problems with is like uh Holy. Sa Samus, Peach, Rob, Luigi, all those like really floaty mat floaty matchups that Jupiter can struggle with. He went to Dreamland though. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not saying I, I can see the reasoning Me because too. with Ganon's strong hits, you're still gonna be able to I, I, say, I was going to say, you still be able to kill Samus at around 140. It's like, that doesn't no. sound early. <laughs> but compared to most characters, that's still pretty good. And But Ganon's survivability also, I think, stretches more in this matchup than Samus' survivability does. Yeah. Not to mention Ganon has Dare. Which oh. I think is like the hardest freaking thing to meter cancel. I, I don't know how people meter cancel Ganon's Dare. It is so weird. Yeah, like just like one punch from Ganon, just like sent Chevy so far away. One punch? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> one punch. I love Chevy's like little hack stash he does. It's so neat. It's like I'm off ledge. Never yeah, mind. Just because like hack stash is so cool because like it throws your opponent off. They think you you're going back on stage, but then you grab ledge immediately and he's able to get the stock for uh, for Chevy because he was able to hack stash and grab ledge right before Jumba can side B. Uh, to grab ledge. And here's the recovery. <laughs> I sort of wanted to see, want to see Junebug do a drop zone uh, Tipman. Ooh, Because I that think that cool. will yeah. destroy Samus. I, I while agree. she's recovering low like that. Oh, oh my god, that sounded brutal. That was a meaty. Oh, I felt that in my soul. Right now, oh, yeah, I'm also I'm him. also questioning the counter pick now as well. <sighs> oh man, just like that, oh. Junebug now down Ouch. full stock. Like what can Junebug uh, doesn't even get anything off of down throw. Like at zero percent down throw, he tried to near him I think, and Che was able to jump out. So, like he just has to find all space as fair as like <laughs> spectacularly. He's off stage now. Oh no! Oh no! Covers the jump. <sighs> All right. Still no jump. Excellent recovery by Junebug. That that, I would say excellent. Chevy messed up. Yeah. That. Don't, don't, I don't think Junebug did anything special to recover there. Chevy just messed up his execution. Well, I mean, there was a lot of opportunities Junebug could have died. <laughs> well, yeah. Like for real to survive that long, yeah, I'll give him care for that. But he should not have recovered. Is what I'm saying. Right. 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 I guess. So. Okay. Wow. So Good crazy coverage. that uh, Samus's forward smash could be tilted. So yeah, like to be able to cover that uh, sweet spot attempt, the, the uh, down tilted forward smash is able to cover the sweet spot. Just nuts. Whoa! Oh my god! I completely forgot that about was that. Brutal. And he died. <laughs> down beyond shield pops him out immediate dare. I completely forgot about down beyond shield and how crazy it can be. Or you maybe not on shield. Diddy. Oh, he's like he, maybe to try on Diddy. Try on Diddy, but he's, I'm gonna gonna playing, he's gonna be playing a long game because it's, it's gonna be hard to actually kill Samus. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. And I'm not sure how uh, Di uh, Diddy's peanuts and banana interact with missiles. I, I don't know either. <laughs> Luck cheer peanuts, for June. I, peanuts, I'm just sure that uh, they'll just get eaten up by the missiles and missiles will still keep going through. Bananas, I'm not so sure. I think bananas and missiles like go boop boop, you know, explodes the missile but stops the banana. Uh, it might stop the banana. Uh, I'm saying, I don't, think the pe I, th I don't think the peanut stops the missile. Ah, yes, I would I agree. Think I, I think it just goes through. I would agree. <laughs> it looks like Junebug isn't even going to try to uh, chase Chevy in the air after he pops him up. <laughs> yeah. He's just going to stay on the ground and just try to punish a landing. Ooh, that's five dodge was. That was. Man, even. I'm going to say, even if June gets a fair, I don't think Chevy would die, but he died cleanly. 
but Dream Luck looking good so far. Able to hit the ground so to get his jump too. Oh, I was I was a little nervous about that grab because I thought Chevy was gonna be able to nair right before the grab came out. But very fortunate for Dream Luck that Dream's doing a lot better this game. Yeah, June's looking a lot better this game. I do think it's because Diddy does have the better neutral game than the other two characters uh, he was playing with. Mm -hmm. And that's solely due to uh, banana, uh, the bananas and peanuts. Like, the bananas just take a part of the stage. And you can't crouch cancel. But you can't crouch cancel. There's a banana right under you ready to trip you. Just having that banana out is so important for, for uh, G Book to have out. Trips gets the fair. The classic noob move jump, jump fair back onto stage, hoping you get back on. <laughs> but G Book knows better. Oh, he doesn't have a jump. He's dead. Oh, oh my god. It's a dead Diddy. That was, that was so unfortunate for G Book, but. Let's see if he can keep his composure together. Oh, that down tilt. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Chief Bug is just getting hammered after that uh, low percent kill. All right now, June is just finding a way in. Fight gets a grab. I'm always so nervous when a player tries to chase Samus that far out in a from a throw because I always feel like Samus just gonna nair, yeah, like nair out of it, and just like combo break it and just put put the other player just a horrible position. Oh, that was such a good charge shot, charge shot because it ate up the peanut and Junebug was still in the end line from shooting the peanut and just, just ate went. the peanut and just hit Junebug on the way through it. Junebug playing very defensive right now, just holding his shield, trying to find his moment of opportunity. Now, just waiting for Chevy to commit, like he just did with the up B. And while Chevy's recovering, uh, Junebug's shield is also recovering too. Oh, that's true. So he's able to use that to approach it more. She just wow, ducked. that was really good, baiting out the fact that he's, he called out uh, Chevy, saying like. You're not going to hit this missile as low as possible. So I'm going to get onto you and down smash you. And I'm going to go right under the missile. Junebug's ducking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please. <laughs> what? Was that Nair? Uh, he Z dropped a banana into Nair after the banana hit. That's smart. Yeah, here, here it comes. This is how it starts. Oh, did he this momentum? so good. Because even if you're late to a tech chase, if they get up in place, the banana will still trip them right when they get up. Oh, that's hard to work with. It's definitely hard to work with. So it basically forces the other player to the person who's getting tripped to roll in one direction or the other. <sighs> that clap. Oh, this is so close. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Chevy needs to Chevy's, get away from the edge. Chevy's taking it back wow. little by little. That was so good for Jubug to get out of that, just wave dashing and shielding again while Chevy was throwing out his uh, jab pressure, and then Jubug able to get the get the grab and get claim center stage from uh, throwing Chevy off stage. Jubug is in a pretty comfortable position, but Chevy looking to oh let me just find one opening. And Teals, remember this is a reminder. Uh, this is game four. Ooh. If Oh, I was We're like, if to Chevy number can, five. If Chevy could have won that, that would have been it. Yeah, that was June Bug's uh, Tony Stocks. All right, June Bug taking a game step. Game number five. Just how we like to start. Wait, no, we, this is our second top eight match because we already saw Kais advance over. Wait, over South. South was that? Right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it yeah. ended with that brutal JV four oh, <laughs> on Smashville. But where does Chevy want to go? He already won on PS two, so I don't think that's an option. He already went on Dreamland? Yeah. He went on Dreamland. So we're working with. You also go back to the first stage. Oh, is it modified? This is modified. This is a circuit event, and this is a GSR. Geo Stupid World. I, I always call it Geos, but people are like, wait, you mean modified? I'm like, it's the same thing, right? Like, yeah. Okay. So, game. <laughs> is he gonna. Wait, did he win on PS2? Wait, who won on Fountain? I wait, didn't Chevy win on Fountain? Chevy won on Fountain and Dreamland. Oh, Sheik. Yeah, against Sheik. Against yeah, so Sheik. that Junebug yeah. won 
on Smash 1 PS2, I think. Well, they definitely went to Dreamland. Oh, we're going to Battlefield. Somewhere. Stay just stay. No, 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 no. I said uh, FOD and Dreamland was Chevy's, uh, while PS2 and oh, yeah. Smash 1 yeah, yeah, yeah. were Jeep Bucks. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, this is it. Game five. Ooh, Jeep was using a shield a little too much and allowed the upbeat of shield poke him. Allowed Chevy to get out of that little sticky situation he's in. Now Chevy's got Jubug in the corner, but gave it up to get the banana. <laughs> God, Chevy's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chevy's corner pressure is looking really good right now. Oh, man, I love that. So uh, what you can do there is you can super wave dash and then crawl forward, and it'll just stop your momentum on a dime. Go from 0 to 100 real quick. Well, that's what, like 100 to 0. Because you're doing the super wave dash, and then you're stopping. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going from a lot of speed to no speed. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I completely just blanked it. Yeah, 100 zero. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like Chevy gets the first stock. And oh my god, but game five situation. Let's see who has that clutch factor in them to be able to pull through this. That's one thing I really like from Chevy. He'll throw out that charge shot as he's recovering to just help him get back on stage. Get. Uh oh. 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 oh, but the jetpack barely <laughs> clips. Covers. Chevy. Ah, uh, Junebug right. needs that strong hit in there to close this out, but probably just down. I think that was back throw. Yeah. Maybe. Or, yeah. No. That was, that was down throw. That was down throw? That was down throw. Back yeah, throw, so he, yeah, back throw, he actually yeah, yeah, yeah. just throws. He swings doesn't it. hit the ground. Okay. Junebug finally gets Chevy's first stock, but. 80% in. Chevy, Chevy looking at a pretty commanding position. Not stage position wise. Because Jubux has Chevy in the corner and just maneuvering around Chevy beautifully right now. Chevy now has no jump, but that with was the tether, quick. it's going to be pretty quick to grab ledge. Oh, Man, back missile? air? Oh. oh, no, he got greedy. Allows Jubux to recover from that. I would say that's pretty greedy. Oh, he just wave lands on. Oh, but that's going to be a dead June bug. Je right. Chevy once again takes the lead. Oh, he actually got that grab. I'm surprised, but fortunately, Diddy can't really do much to Samus after he grabs him. Grabs her. Oh, barely missed space is a fair. That's scary. <laughs> Playing Mario Maker. Jesus. <laughs> Don't want IPK getting into this game. It's so fun to watch him do that, though. Right. Let's see how G-Mug decides to edge guard Chevy this time. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to let him back on stage. I like that little bomb. It bounced but, off the side. Man, th this will basically determine if like G-Mug can come back. He needs to find a way to kill Chevy now. That's true. At 140%, you're not going to be able to combo. You got. It's going to be so hard to find oh. a way to finish the kill on Chevy. And now with that forward smash from Chevy, he has a three stock to one lead with no way for Junebug to combo into a kill move now. Oh. Right. Like he has to find He's some sort of nair. Fair, okay, fair will kill. That'll do it. And the question is, does Junebug have to rely on something cheeky, like try to down, down air, down air. Uh, yeah. or uh, get a side B command grab to throw Chevy down as well? Or will, or will Junebug more focus, just pick Chevy apart little by little? But that doesn't oh, seem to be the case because Chevy's just looking for trades right now. Any trade is a good trade for Chevy because more percent added to Junebug on his last stock is much better than any percent uh, Chevy can add on his second to last stock. No side B, no jump. Oh. There's going to do it. And Chevy takes it 3-2 over Junebug, proceeding on to loser's quarters. And now that wraps up our loser's our loser's eights. side. Yeah. And now I'm going to move on to the loser's quarters. Well, 